We just got a ton of brand new leaked Sonic Frontiers footage, screenshots, and much, much more. We got a hands-on impression review. It's a lot of information, guys. So make sure to watch the entire video, but let's not waste your time. Let's get right into the clip. All right, so this is gameplay clip number one. This looks to be the Sky Sanctuary Cyberspace stage. You also get a little bonus cutscene footage to the left, so we can kind of look at both of them, but let's just take a look real quick. All right, so it looks like it's, uh, this is definitely Sky Sanctuary. You see the death egg to the top right, but you also saw a red ring right there, and then you also saw like the little sky loops at the top, path at the bottom, and path at the top. So it looks like there's gonna be some intricacy to these level designs, not just gonna be like straight line boosting. And he gets hit, which the animation does look a little bit weird. It looks like this is gonna be straight linear gameplay, which, okay, it's fine. We're going to get a big open world and then we're going to get some linear levels, but it looks like there is a lot of different paths you can take as you guys can see. And these are all levels on the first island. Like I said, there's going to be five different islands. I can probably guess by the end of the game, these levels are going to get a little bit crazier because Sonic will get faster because he doesn't look that fast right now. But let's also analyze the cutscene to the left. Let's take a look at that real quick. You got Sonic to the left over there. He looks like he's like confused or he's lost or something. I don't really know what's going on with that. That looks to be like one of the first cutscenes of the game. Probably it's like the initial demo that people were getting at the, at the first show this game was showed off at, I think. And it looks like he was just talking to, like, a mysterious voice. Now, this might be a different character. This might not be the same as Sage. There's been some evidence suggesting that maybe these two robots are, like, fighting back and forth, trying to, like, take control of Sonic. Because if you guys remember the first trailer, Sage was telling Sonic to submit and his arm was turning, like, robot or whatever. Maybe Sonic is gonna have this, like, existential battle or existential crisis. Like, that could be pretty cool. Alright, guys, so here's probably the best gameplay clip you will ever see of this game that really kind of shows off what the potential of it could be. Just watch this sequence right here. Look at that. He hits off the spring. He boosts off that. Oh my god. Onto the grind rail? This guy looks focused. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing right there. We also have a cutscene to the left of here. You're really gonna have to zoom in for this, but it looks like Sonic is very sad and that looks like the same exact thing where Amy was trapped in. And you see Sage standing outside of it. So I don't know if Amy's in there. I think she is because she's the one that's trapped on the first island. And you see Sonic get a little mad right there, guys. This is looking pretty crazy, bro. We're actually getting looks of cutscenes. Alright, guys. We got another gameplay footage of Green Hill Cyberspace. So let's go take a look at that. But this right here here is the tutorial level of Green Hill from what it looks like because you got stuff like this popping on the screen. This guy is just standing there. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's trying to uh, if he's just trying to test out the moveset or something. He's going the wrong way. But yeah, let's go take a look at this gameplay footage. But honestly, I don't know if this guy is trash. I mean, this guy is trash in the game, but he's not really making the game look that impressive. I'm not going to lie. The cyberspace stage looks kind of eh. This is actually what seems to be the tutorial stage. Yeah, look how slow this dude is going, bro. He's going hella slow. It looks like the boost pads are kind of carrying him forward with this one. But this is Sonic at like his least uh, powerful, I guess you could say. Oh, wait, there's actually gameplay to the right. So we can check that out after, guys. We're going to go take a look at that after. I'll like zoom in or whatever to make it a little bit better for you guys. Yeah, it's teaching you how to homing attack. Like this is literally the tutorial stage. I don't think this is meant to really showcase the speed or anything. It's really just meant to get players acclimated to the controls. And there you go. And this guy who literally is slow as hell completed the tutorial stage in a minute and 12. I don't know if he meant to do this. I'm not hating on you, bro. But like literally he got, he got an S rank. Oh my God, he got an S rank for that. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Wow. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm Sonic Frontier's defense squad, but that didn't look too good. Honestly, like I said, tutorial stage, very slow. He has no speed. Guys, you can level up your speed to like level 99 or something like that. There's five islands. Like, listen, they can't they can't throw it all at you at once. But let's check what we see to the right, because it looks like there's some more stuff over there. I'm gonna be focusing just on the right side of the screen right now. It looks like so on the right side of the screen, if you guys look right here, this is just open world footage. Let's see what we see. To me, honestly, guys, I'm thinking the open world looks like the highlight of the game. If anything, cyberspace to me is kind of just like the uh something that breaks up the pace a little bit i'm all for like you know you explore around the open world and cyberspace is kind of like a nice little treat after you complete the stage let's see what else we got to the right all right so yeah you guys see it right there man i mean he, he doesn't really know what he's doing obviously he's just exploring the world i want to see some combat though let's see some combat bro i gotta say sonic still definitely moves faster than any open world platformer character you guys have to keep that in mind as well yeah i don't know why yo this guy's just literally bouncing on a spring like bro what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing bro what is he doing bro yo some of these people do not know how to play video games all right he's gonna go down i think he's gonna fight for the first time Let's see if he fights. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we saw that in the first combat trailer or whatever. Okay, so a prompt pops up. Oh my God, he just got right to it. Look at him. He's beating him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Let's go, Sonic. Let's go, bro. Okay, he's learning some combat. He's got some moves. He's got some moves. Oh, he just got smacked. That looks the same as the combat showcase, bro. I swear to God. He's, getting, he's kind of getting beat down, though. No lie. Hey, yo, we need some good players to play this, so let's see what else we got. All right, we got more gameplay footage. This is in like TikTok format, so it's kind of weird looking, but all right, let's take a look at it. So this guy's doing more combat. I guess it's really kind of just showing people how to play the game. That's what this initial demo 
goes about. Let's see, he's killing a couple of them with just homing attacks. That's pretty cool. Telling you to pick up dropped items. Oh, we already saw that. Okay, yeah, so that's like a 14 second clip. Oh, there's some more in the background too, guys. There's literally footage everywhere. I'm sure there's more that we're gonna find. All right, so here's our first look at the Coco in game. This is also a very good shot. Let's take a look at it real quick. So it looks like you can find these guys. And I honestly, I don't know what this is right here. Let's go take a look at it real quick, guys. I think this looks like a mountain or something like that. This looks like another level you can access though. Like I actually do like this. This looks a lot more platformy. And the mountain looks cool. So I do like this zone, but let's keep uh, taking a look at these little guys over here. Look at these little guys. Look at the little guys. Yo, what's up, little guys? And Sonic has an idle animation. Wow, finally. He's still standing like forces though, guys. So if you guys are hoping for something different there, he's still standing like forces. I don't care though. That literally doesn't mean anything to me. But yeah, guys, you kind of see what's going on here. I guess you rescue these guys and you uh, take them back to the elder to get skill points. And that's how you're going to level up your speed. Don't worry, guys. For those of you that are concerned, we actually have some gameplay footage from players who are not complete trash at the game. So let's go roll the clips real quick. We got another TikTok style recording of what looks to be like a new combat ability, which is a slide attack. It actually looks really cool and fluid. Let's check it out. You guys can really not see because that wire is in the way, bro. What the hell? But I really like how that slide attack looks. I don't know if you guys see that right there. It's looking clean, guys. It's looking really good. Honestly, combat's looking a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, man. He's running around. He's doing a little side steps. He's uh, homing attacking. He's punching, guys. He's doing a lot. He has a big moveset, guys. So I'm very excited about that. But a little bit more gameplay footage to show you guys. So I'll keep the ball rolling. It looks like we also have some competent footage of the Sky Sanctuary cyberspace level. So let's take a look. I don't know if this guy's like holding their controller in one hand or something like that. Like, I don't know how he's playing with that wire on the screen. So once again, it looks like there are a lot of paths that you can take in this. I really do like how these levels are looking so far. Like I said, it's very linear, but it's not actually the end of the world. Oh, we actually see some real 3D right there. That's pretty cool. It does look very linear, but it looks like there's many different ways to accomplish these levels. All right. So we're looking over here. What else do we got? Yeah, man, this looks pretty cool, guys. I'm actually really liking what we see so far. And once again, guys, this is the first wave of cyberspace. Keep in mind, there's five different islands, probably like seven or eight cyberspace levels per island. So if you don't like what you see early on, I would still wait and see what else they have in store. You know what I mean? He took the upper path. He actually jumped over it. He's not as bad as the other player was. And that's the end of the level right there, guys. So they're pretty short and sweet. If you don't like the short and sweet levels, then hey, you can still go back out into the open world. And he got an S rank. Bro, is it like easy as hell to get an S rank? Uh-oh, we got to look at a cutscene too. What's going on over here, guys? This might be one of the first cutscenes we can actually see live. Oh, is that it? Okay, no, that's it. So yeah, after you complete the cyberspace, you get the vault keys. Uh oh, what's going on over here? It looks like the chaos emeralds forming. Is that going to be a chaos emerald? Let's see what's happening, guys. Oh, it creates a bridge. Oh, that's pretty cool. So if you complete cyberspace levels, it looks like it will unlock certain parts of the island. I love that. I think that's really cool. And is that it, guys? Oh, wow. That's it. It says, thanks for playing Sonic Frontiers. And you see like the little uh, sky right there. I don't know if that's the menu screen. So that's it, guys. That's the demo right there. Here's also a look at the HUD, guys. You guys look right here. You can level up your speed to level 99. There's like four different skills you can do. You're probably your defense, your attack, your speed, and then I guess your side loop. I don't know what that is. If he looks slow in some of these like initial gameplay showcases, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think we'll be okay. We also got our first look at the skill tree, guys. So if you guys look right here, it looks like there's uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen skills, I guess, in the first zone or whatever. It looks like there's some over here as well, though. And the first one we see is the Phantom Rush. And the combo meter is maxed out. Phantom Rush is activated, resulting in attacks being 1.2 times more powerful. Phantom Rush lasts until the combo meter reaches zero. There's a combo meter. Like the combat has a lot of depth into it as well, guys. So I think we got through all the gameplay footage that we were able to see. If we find any more, we'll definitely show you guys. So this is the objective for cyberspace. Each cyberspace stage has a couple missions you can do in order to get vault keys, which I'm sure will help you unlock chaos emeralds or something like that, or boss battles. So it says one is reach the goal. All right, easy. Clear with an S rank, easy. Clear with 150 rings. Now that's kind of a challenge. And the next one is find all red star rings. So it looks like there's going to be some replayability to these cyberspace stages. You're going to be playing the cyberspace stages a couple times. It's not just going to be like, oh, you beat it once and you're done, which you probably could do if you wanted to. But it looks like the real meat for the cyberspace stages is going to be the replayability. As you guys saw before, there's multiple paths you can take. Here's another thing that looks a little concerning though. I'm looking at this cutscene right here and I don't know if this really looks that good, guys. The eyebrow animation looks bad. I mean, I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is an early build or whatever, but this cutscene doesn't look too great. We also got the first kind of narrative about the cutscene. So if you look right here, Sonic is talking about being a rodent. So it looks like there's going to be some humor in the game. As you can clearly see right here. The voice he's talking about, this seems to be like the anti-sage because you can't see her. But this is what she says. She says, find the Chaos Emeralds, destroy the Titans, and tear down the walls between dimensions. This almost sounds like this could be the true villain that's like using Sonic. I swear to God, I feel like he might actually end up like having to like flirt with being evil this game, but not maybe not knowing it. There's some type of battle over Sonic. I don't know what's going on. And we got our first in-game shot at Sage. This is my theory. I think Sage and this other robot are like fighting for Sonic. So I don't know. We're gonna have to see about that. Last but not least, we have a hands-on impression from Sonic Stadium. So like these guys actually know Sonic. They're a very good Sonic News publication. They're one of my favorites out there, but let's take a look at what they had to say. So this is their hands-on impression. They said, honestly, we weren't sure about talking too much about our impressions of Sonic Frontiers because a lot is under embargo. But we just learned that this floor demo is different than the one being shown behind closed doors at Gamescom, which is embargoed. So here it goes. 
videos. So this is like probably the same demo that we saw at Summer Games Fest. It says, what do we think about playing Sonic Frontiers? The answer may surprise you, but generally speaking, we thought the demo was dot, 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 good. We were seriously quite surprised, almost violently so, at how we enjoyed the design of the first open zone. There's a lot of freedom to play around with. The combat traversal controls are generally fluid. The cyberspace stages are very, very linear and are reminiscent of the Sonic Forces and Generation style play. Eh, that's not too good to hear. But the two stages we played, Green Hill and Sky Sanctuary, were bite-sized, almost arcade-like, and didn't outstay their welcome in the same way that Forces stages were. In a way, cyberspace stages almost feel like a fail-safe, something familiar that Sonic Team included to balance out more free open zone gameplay, but it's feeling more like the open zone stuff is where the real heart of where Sonic Frontiers is at. And after some control adjustment, light speed dashes on L3, wow, that's interesting, and boosts on the right trigger, which can take some getting used to, traversal feels quick. You can homing attack just by pressing X without needing to jump. It's all about getting you in the right action. Other move quirks you can do a stomp move as always, jump plus B, but Sonic will also bounce as he hits the floor. You can hold the B button down and Sonic will continue to bounce and do this attack while surrounding enemies. So the bounce attack is in the game, that's cool. Some of the parkour moves that you might recognize in Sonic Lost World are also a part of Sonic's moveset in Sonic Frontiers because the boost is set to the right trigger. Holding this while jumping against specific walls will allow you to wall run. It's good to see that they went back on that parkour mechanic because a lot of people actually like that. They also said, we're not sure if you'd call it a drop dash, but there's a move spotted during the combat tutorial screen that involved double jumping and holding the jump button on the second press to allow Sonic to dash when he landed on the ground. Sounds like a drop dash, bro. They also said, one of the things we were quite impressed with was how smooth the action was, particularly in the open zone. We were worried that it was going to be a chore to explore and we were wrong. We are playing on a PC, so we hope this is the experience we will see on home consoles too. Something we couldn't quite capture in our screenshots was a combo counter that appears on the right side of the screen. Whenever Sonic wails on an enemy slash enemies, it kind of gives us Devil May Cry vibes. They should have added SA2 style scoring though. Last but not least, they say some more thoughts on the open zone, or at least the one we played. Design wise, it doesn't feel super open world. It really felt simply like a more open Sonic stage with few curious springs and paths to distract yourself with. And they said we really liked it. One of the things we were worried about is whether these areas were going to be overwhelming in scale and just be senseless in direction slash design as a result. It might just be because we were playing literally the opening area, but we were happy to not get that vibe from the demo. All right, that's a really good review, guys. I'm very excited about this. Yeah, guys, in my opinion, I think that's everything that we needed to know from Sonic Frontiers Game Comment. There's any extra footage that we see, I'll definitely be able to show it to you guys. Like I said, I'm very excited about the game. The gameplay trailer they showed us yesterday, I think it does the game justice. I don't know why this wasn't the first showcase for the game. I always liked what I saw from Sonic Frontiers, but I know that the general public did not like it. And to me, that's also very important that the general public likes the game as well as myself. I know I'm gonna like this game. I like Breath of the Wild. I like Sonic. I feel like these games are like very similar to each other. But the real thing is we need the narrative about this game to shift. We need it to focus on something more positive. And I think this trailer was able to help. I don't know if it's gonna win the hearts and minds of all the skeptics because we didn't see too much of the open world, but we did get to see a new biome and honestly a very good CGI trailer to kind of like bring up the hype. Yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts about all the information we just got. Let me know what you guys think about Sonic Frontiers so far. I got nothing else to say to you guys. So until I see you next time, peace out.